Let's take a look at uh, some changes that have been made to the pencil tool in Illustrator CC in the January 2014 uh, update. Now, I, when I hear that they mess with the drawing tools, I get a little edgy because I, I think I'm pretty good with the pen tool. Been using it for a jillion years, and although that doesn't mean much, I, I know it pretty well. And the pencil tool itself, I don't use that often, but they have made some changes to it. So I, I had to take a look, and I want to show you what they did. Well, the pencil tool forever in a day, if you look at it, has the ability to go out and just kind of, you know, free form, do your thing and, you know, close the path and blah, blah, blah. And you're, it's definitely a little more free form. Okay. So if we wanted to create a straight line, I typically wouldn't use the pencil tool. So for instance, in this path right here, it might be a little more difficult in previous versions of Illustrator to create it. With the pencil tool, we can now, there's a couple things that have changed or been added, I guess you could say. We can now create straight lines with it. We can create straight lines that are, you know, constrained to 45 degree angles or just a straight line. If I come to the pencil tool and I come out here and draw, if I hold down, first of all, if I hold down the option key or alt on Mac, now in the in previous versions of Illustrator, what this used to do is as I was drawing with the pencil tool and I wanted to just close the path, I could hold down the option or alt, a little circle would show up next to the pencil and it would just close the path with a straight line basically. Uh, that's changed. We can't really do that anymore. Here's the way it works though. If you hold down the Alt or Option key, you'll see this little line next to the pencil tool and you can click and drag and create a straight line that is not constrained. Now, as you're doing this, like a lot of other things, if you show in, throw in rather, the Shift key, you can get it to constrain it. Now, this is what's kind of interesting. If you don't, you don't have to hold down the, the Alt or Option to get a constrained line. If you just, with the pencil tool, hold down the shift key, you can create a constrained line. So instead of holding a couple keys, you just hold one. So alt or option lets you draw in any direction. Shift constrains it. Okay, so, all right, I'll shut up. Now, another change that has been made here is that if we are drawing a path, let's say I'm going along and I go and draw a path and I want to close it, well, if I hold down alt or option like we used to be able to do, it's going to make me draw a straight line. <laughs> so what we do is we go back to the beginning and you'll see the circle appear and that will close the path. Another feature that we have, the, another change I guess you could say to the pencil tool is if I double click on the pencil tool over here on the left and I get the pencil tool options, you'll see that and, and you know what, it, don't lie to yourself about this, but a lot of people when they got to the pencil tool or other like brushes, things like that, they go into these little sliders like fidelity and smoothness and they just kind of play around, click OK and just try drawing and see what it did. Okay, don't, you know it was you, okay, it was me too. Uh, but now with the pencil tool options in Illustrator, we it's been simplified. So we just have what's called fidelity. It basically means, and, and they changed the wording here, I think, which makes a little more sense. Do you want the path to be more accurate to what you draw? Or do you want Illustrator to kind of smooth it out as you draw? I want to smooth it a little bit. So I'll do that. Click OK. Now, it's interesting, but that, that new Fidelity uh, dialog box is actually in the Blob Brush. So if you go to Blob Brush, you'll see Fidelity. And it's in a couple other tools as well. They've changed that setting. So it's, it's simplified. Whoops. All right, so let me go just show you a quick example here. I'm going to draw this little handle. So I'm just going to start drawing. Do, 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 do. Once I come to a straight line, I'm going to go to 45. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, draw a straight line. Now, you got to be careful. You don't want to keep drawing. I'm going to let go of the shift key and just keep drawing here. Kind of go around. Now I'm going to draw a straight line down here. Hold down option. Draw a straight line right up to here. Let go of option. Continue drawing. Come back. And wow, I screwed that up. That's fine. And you can see the close. And there we go. Now I can go in and edit and do different things, but those are the changes to the pencil tool. I, I don't know. It's still taking me some time to get used to them, uh, but I actually appreciate the fact that we can now at least draw straight lines, which is pretty cool. So there you go.